Hi there, I'm Mr. Orr and we are talking about section 7.1 in your textbooks which has to do with exponents and rules of exponents. So quickly let's go through the rules. If you have a number x uh, to the fourth power times the same base to a power, the rule is that you add the exponents and you get x to the seventh. And the reason for that is x to the fourth is x times x times x times x times x to the third, which is x times x times x, and that's 4 plus 3 x to the seventh. That's the reason the rule works. You add those two exponents if you are multiplying the same base and you have exponents. All right, the next rule is if you have x to the third raised to the fourth power, that's going to be x to the third, x times x times x, and there are four of them, so times x times x times x, times x times x times x, times x times x times x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You multiply the exponents, and you get here x to the 12th power. All right, the third rule is if you have, let's say, x to the 6th over x to the 2nd, that would be x times x times x times x times x times x over x times x. Now we know that x over x is 1, so we can get rid of those two and just call that a 1. x over x is 1, so now we have 1 times 1 times 4 x's. So the answer to this is x to the 4th, and the reason for that equals, there we go, Okay, the reason for that, and, and this is the reason, but here the rule is you subtract the exponents. Same base, you have exponents, one over another, you subtract. All right, two other rules that you need to know. One of them is x to the first power equals itself. Uh, so, 8 to the first power equals 8, and 123 to the first power equals 123. Okay? And the other rule uh, that you need to know, there's a couple of them, uh, the next rule you need to know is that a number x except 0 to the 0 power is equal to 1. So therefore, 8 to the 0 power is 1, and 123 to the 0 power is 1. The only number you can't do that with is 0. 0 to the 0 power is undefined. Okay. Um, if you have a negative exponent, let's say x to the negative third power, the rule here is, now remember anything can be written over 1, and what we do in this case is to flip it over and change this negative to a positive. So this would become 1 over x to the positive 3. Okay? Now, uh, if you had 1 over x, to the negative 2, then you flip that over, and it becomes x to the positive 2 over 1, which is x to the positive 2. Okay, those are the rules you need for these problems. Now, let's get to this problem and take a look and see how this works. Um, we have a number of complications here, but you'll see we're going to take these one at a time and work our way through. Um, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this a separate video. So that concludes section 7.1 with the basic rules of exponents. So the next one will be 7.2, which is um, going through the uh, multiplication division processes with exponents. I'll see you soon.